Welcome to Help Africa This Week. I'm your host, Cyprian Jason. I will start this new program with a quote from Bob Marley. Some people are poor, all they have is money. My topic this morning is uh, Africa. Many Africans need moral education. And that's what's lacking in Africa, education. And if there is education in Africa, because you still have brilliant people everywhere, scientists, educators, teachers, good governments and bad governments. <laughs> My story this morning will throw you into frenzy. That's why we should help Africa. Today we bring you the story of two women who were disgraced in public, handcuffed and striped naked by the policemen. They fell on the ground, still handcuffed, and you can hear in this horrible video passers-by and some other women laughing at them. This is a big shame. Shame on you. <sighs> this is humiliation no matter what they have done to you you have no right to expose their body and private parts to your own selfish interest you are a total disgrace to the african continent with your banana republic and barbaric laws don't get me wrong i don't know these women but thanks to the social media this terrible image reached me in a french city in france where women are respected unlike your banana republic where you disgrace your mothers in public by strapping them total naked shame one more time shame on you you the police guys you and you the judge that is going to judge these women naked you're listening to nollywood broadcasting service i'm your host cyprian johnson shame on the police in that country and for the judges, they should resign from violating the fundamental human rights of two African women who are not guilty until they are proved to have committed a crime. I really thank our social media friends for their reactions, which starts with Shegon Arinze. Now, let's take the view of Shego Arizo. From Shego Arizo, we have this. We Africans disgrace fellow Africans. That's true. This is most disgusting. How can these women be so debased? It's totally unacceptable, no matter what they did. Thank you, Shego. That's the type of people I want in that continent. And he continued, what a shame. A big shame on Africa. This is humiliation and a complete violation of their rights. Whichever African country this happened, the authorities should bury their heads in shame, including the president of that country. I'm really pissed and outraged by this. Shegun Arinze. My greetings, Shegun. Anywhere you are, you are a true brother of Africa. Now, uh, I'm going to read also another reaction Vincent Tumodo this is disgusting these uniform men 
don't they have mothers this shame is hundred percent it looks like one of the french countries in west africa no english speaking law enforcement agent can do this to a woman big shame taking another reaction from our social media friends chinedu okafo absolutely nonsensical barbaric archaic um unpalatable and unspeakable the african police is a total disgrace to humanity they must be demented having violated the human rights must stand down fools they are thank you chinedu for your reaction now chinedu okafo continues i see no reason why mad and demented people should be allowed into policing don't they get scrutinized before assigning them into office or police office honestly speaking the african police needs more education on policing before allowing them do their job thank you now i'm going to pick the last one in italy in italy i said it times without number africans are like animals there is absolute nothing good that comes out of africa disgusting uh continent disgusting people i disagree with you there in italy there are very good things coming out from africa but there are bad people too bad people and these people we have to educate them but you have to have the souls educate them so i'm going to take on again on the quote from bob Marley: some people are poor all they have is money Thank you very much. Keep on listening to Nollywood Broadcasting Service. I'm your host, Cyprian Johnson.